There will be times when you need to review an existing process and one has never been designed or created. In these circumstances, you will need to create a process that aligns with Six Sigma principles and your company strategy. In these unique circumstances, Six Sigma uses a design for a Six Sigma method referred to as DMADV. With that said, let's turn our attention to answering the question, what is DMADV? DMADV is the methodology used when designing new processes that did not exist prior to their design. DMADV can also be used on processes that have attempted improvement with another methodology, but the improvement failed to meet the required objectives or critical to quality measures. The DMADV method only differs from the DMAIC method in the final two stages. The acronym represents each of the five stages of DMADV. Define, measure, analyze, design, and verify. Improve is replaced with design to suggest that you design the best possible process that you can. In addition to this change, the control stage is replaced with verify to indicate that the user should verify that the process they designed functions appropriately. With that said, there are many similarities between the two methodologies as well, most notably being they both strive to reach no more than 3.4 defects per million opportunities. Both use data-driven methods where possible, and finally, both should drive direct improvements wherever they are applied. So, when do we use DMADV? In general, DMADV is associated with the design of new services and products. When there is no existing product or process in place, DMADV can be used to design the process or product. Another way of looking at it would be to use DMADV when a process improvement doesn't meet the objective or the goal you are trying to achieve. In short, a process or product already established simply fails. In this circumstance, DMADV would be appropriate to use. Keep in mind that many companies will not use this methodology and will opt to only use the DMAIC method. The concept is the same, the only difference occurs in the improvement phase. The improvement occurs when the new process is designed and the verification occurs during the control phase. This can sometimes allow an organization to have more consistency in the methods that are used to solve problems. You now have a basic understanding of the DMADV method and know when it is commonly applied. We will revisit this topic in more advanced lectures.